Hi, my name is Andy Powell. I'm a senior consultant with Universal Mind, and today I'm going to show you how we connect RFID technology to AIR via Merapi. RFID is a way of tagging devices and items with a antenna and chip that contains a unique ID, and then we have a sensor that reads that ID. What I have here is a sensor that I bought from fidgets.com, P-H-I-D-G-E-T-S.com, and it comes with an assortment of RFID tags. So I'm going to use one of those tags today to talk to AIR and pass status back and forth on whether or not a tag is in proximity. So here's our Java class. It's just a simple class that defines some listeners. And the ones we're going to be concerned with here are add tag gain listener and add tag loss listener. So we have two classes that are actually going to listen for tag gain and tag lost. And we have those defined up here as custom classes called tag gained and tag lost. <clears throat> so if you look at tag gained, it extends Merapi object and when instantiated gets an instance of the bridge. When an event comes in, that we've gained a tag, we're going to get the value of that tag, create a new RFID tag object, and pass that to flex over the Merapi bridge. When we get to looking at our flex code, we have an instance of the Merapi bridge and a label that we're going to change the text of as the status of our tag changes. So that bridge has a result function with a handle result event and we're going to check for the tag, the message type, whether or not it's a gain message or a loss message. A gain message is when a tag comes into proximity. A loss message is when it moves out of proximity of the reader. So if we take a look at our running air app, you'll see right now we have no tag in proximity. The next video will show you actually the tag moving in and out of proximity of the reader. So now I'm going to move the RFID tag into the proximity of the reader. And as I move it in and out, you see the status in the air app changes. User in range, no user in proximity. Now the Fidgets devices come with a JNI library that allows us to talk to the Fidgets device over natively via C in the JNI bridge. Um, not all devices have this. Some devices have a serial interface, and for that interface you can actually use uh, the RxTx library that I discussed in the GPS demo. So now let's take a look at the actual devices in action. Okay, so here we see the RFID tag and the application. Down here we see the RFID sensor, which we got from fidgets.com. When we place the tag near the device, you see the user in range message appear. If we move the tag away from the device, you see the message change to no user in proximity. So this is being registered by the actual device. Move it away, move it back, you see the message change over and over again. So if we go here, we'll get a little bit better view. So we can see it changing as we move the device. So a little rocky camera work, sorry. Okay, so you see it says user in range, no user in proximity as we move the RFID tag in and out of the sensor. Hopefully now you're excited about what you can do with RFID, Merapi, Java, and Flex. Now, if you want more information, go to merapiproject.net to learn more about Merapi and what it can do to help you communicate with your hardware and your Flex applications.